guys, I just wanted to talk about these 3D printed tool mounts that I recently uh, hung up in my shed. So, um, the name of the company is Unplugged 3D Mounts. You can find them online at unpluggedmounts.com. You can find them on Instagram at Unplugged 3D Mounts. And you can find them on Facebook at Unplugged Tool and Battery Mounts. So, uh, this guy Matthew, a buddy of mine, he sent me a whole bunch of mounts. Sent me some mounts for my Ryobi tools. He sent me uh, some mounts for my rigid tools. And he also sent me some mounts for uh, just hand tools, um, different mounts that can hold, you know, various weights. And they're really nice. He sent them to me. I hung them up in my shed. I've got a video that I'll be playing for you guys on how I put those up. And they have completely changed the way I organize my shed. Before, what I used to do was um, uh, I have a pegboard in that shed, and I was using what are they called? Uh, peg hooks. And that's how I hung up all my drills, all my uh, nail guns, staplers, and they work great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the your you know a standard way of hanging up your tools, but I mean, why not try and change it up, right? Uh, another thing that I didn't really like about the peg hooks is that occasionally I'd come out to my shed and lots of my tools would be on the on my workstation uh, just because you know with movement and stuff like that um, just since they don't sit perfectly lots of my tools were sliding off of the mounts and then they'd fall down onto the workstation and with these mounts uh, these 3d printed mounts I don't have that they sit perfectly on the shelf on on their mounts and they've got so many different orientations um, I've got some mounts for my batteries I've got mounts for all of my drills and the cool thing is it's, it is that these mounts actually um, will go into the battery system so uh, with sorry with Ryobi specifically the mounts are gonna have the post style mount and so your battery your tool just literally slides right over that post and it's secured so check them out I'll show a video on the actual actual install and if you're interested in these mounts you can go over to this uh, to unplugged mounts.com and you can use code LTT5 and I'll put that right here in the bottom again that's LTT5 at checkout and you'll get five dollars off your order of twenty five dollars or more anyway it gets the job done most of the tools are crooked sometimes I'll come into the shed and find that they've somehow slipped off the hooks and now they're all over the, the my workbench. So, what we're gonna do, and we will start, we'll go ahead and we're gonna mount up, see now, it usually happens with my impacts. I don't know why the impacts is when they tend to slide off the back, no matter how much I try to adjust these hooks. So, we're gonna take these hooks out, we're going to grab our mount. So now the neat thing about th these mounts are that you've got two options for what side you want to orient these. And then you can also kind of turn these around. Now, personally, we're going to do it this way. And that way the tool will just sit on top like that. takes a few minutes to get that set up. I think the longest part of this actual install is deciding where you're actually going to want these mounts to go. These are actually some really nice mounts. Um, anyone who's interested in, you know, wanting to organize their pegboard or any of their workspace a little bit better, 
really should just go check out unpluggedmounts.com and you can use code LTT5 at checkout and you'll get $5 off your purchase of $25 or more. So go ahead, check, uh, check out Unplugged Mounts. Um, you can find them on Instagram, Facebook. so that's gonna wrap it up that was a quick install and it already makes this wall look so much nicer and more organized <laughs>